Okay, so uh, one summer, it was like two years ago, I think it was, my buddy's like, hey, uh, the little, not little, but like the, what's it called, state park, like they need people to move logs at the end of the trail, and he's like, hey, I'm going to do it, you know, you want to do it with me? I was like, no, why would I want to move logs? Like, And he was like, come on, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, all right, whatever, I'll go, and there's actually a decent amount of people going, like, that I knew, I just hit a trash bag, but whatever, uh, but I was like, oh, that I knew, and the guy, like the state park ranger, whatever you want to call him, park ranger, yeah, I don't know, he was like, all right, you're going to walk all the way down the trail, which was like four miles, all right, and the second he said it was four miles, I was like, all right, well, I'm already regretting this, because it's uh, the middle of summer, it's 500 degrees outside, and, you know, we're going to have to carry logs, and when I heard logs, I didn't, like, I thought, like, small, like, firewood type of logs, but no, these are like half of trees, some were palm trees, and I was like, great, uh, but we walk the 400 miles down there, we get there, and he's, the park ranger puts us in groups of three, it was me, my buddy who conned me into going, which, I mean, I still hate him, no, I'm kidding, but whatever, and, like, a dude I kind of knew, I didn't really know, my buddy knew him way better than I did, but, uh, my buddy is shorter than both uh, me and the other dude, and we're just, you know, he's like, alright, pick up the logs, and we're gonna walk down, and the park ranger just left. I don't know where he went, but he just, we never saw him again. So, uh, we're carrying these massive logs. There's, like, a whole group of people. And we were like, hey, let's just, you know, let's wait a little bit. Because the people in front of us, like, some of them were super slow. And we didn't want to get stuck behind slow people carrying these heavy logs. So we waited a little bit. And there's this, I don't, I don't know how the, my mutual friend dude knew him. But it was this older dude, and he was like, oh, I'm going to wait with you guys. That's smart. So uh, we're waiting back there. We wait like 30 minutes because no, we were like five minutes in. We're like, all right, we should probably pick up the logs. But we just kept procrastinating and just never picked them up. So uh, we eventually do pick them up. And this older dude, he's like 50. He puts a log on one shoulder and just walks with it like a lumberjack. Uh, and then you have the three of us carrying this thing. And, uh, yeah, we were not doing too well. We're all carrying it. You know, our arms are getting scratched up. My one buddy, since he's super short, uh, we put him in the middle. And he's like, ah, oh, he has it like on his shoulder. He's like kind of overhead pressing it pretty much. And it was just, it was funny. And the whole time we're walking this 5,000 miles back. And, you know, like I said, it's 5,000 degrees. So we're just walking, talking, you know. The older dude. He, like, halfway through, he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. He just throws the log off his shoulder, and he uh, helps us carry ours. And, yeah, then the park ranger dude is like, all right, let's go do more. And me and my buddy are like, oh, oh, okay. And then he's like, oh, no, you two, go, like, you three. And we went and did something else. So we didn't have to carry this massive wood logs anymore. Uh, GG.